Hey there, <clears throat> a little mini message. I wanted to <coughs> post it earlier, but I got a little sidetracked. So, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> it's live feed, so you're just gonna have to put up with my coughing. Anyway, I was praying about a situation earlier today and um, just telling him, you know, I don't really like this situation. It, it's uncomfortable for me. I don't, uh, I wish it kind of wasn't in my story. Just a situation, and um, and I was praying, and <laughs> I said, Lord, you know, I need you to um, you know, speak to me about this, lead me in this. So, um, if it's not going to change, I, I need your instruction, I need your counsel, I need to um, be guided and not resisted or. Or run from it. I go, I just, I don't know what to do. I kind of wish you would just make it go away, is what I told the Lord, because that's how I really felt. And I told him, I go, it, it, it felt like an unsavory situation, like something, I didn't like the taste of the situation. It was just every way I wouldn't want it to be. And the Lord, um, you know, he said, hmm, it, it's it's unsavory, huh? It, it just doesn't, it just doesn't seasoned right, huh? It's, it, you don't like the way it tastes. I go, mm-mm. And he goes, well, and he reminded me, he goes, you know, you're the salt of the earth. And so I brought you into this situation to change the flavor of the situation, not complain about how it's not seasoned correctly. You're the salt of the earth. Your influence is intended to um, really change the flavor of the situation. Well, I'll tell you, as soon as he spoke that to my heart and reminded me that I am the salt of the earth, I gained a courage and a, a sense of um, resolve and excitement, basically, to have this unsavory situation because I knew that um, the Lord had sent me to be an influence in the situation. I was no longer worried about how it was affecting me. I started thinking how the Lord wanted me to affect the situation. And as a result, I gained courage and I wasn't running from or complaining. I was more thinking, hmm, how am I supposed to um, season this situation? I didn't, still didn't know quite how I was supposed to, but at least I knew I was supposed to. And I no longer was complaining. I was now embracing and looking for an opportunity to make a difference in the situation. So if you're overwhelmed by something like as far as, ooh, I hate this, this tastes horrible, um, just remember you are the salt of the earth if you are a believer. And your presence in that situation is supposed to affect it. And you're not supposed to run from it. The salt doesn't run from the unsavory situation. The salt connects with it, penetrates it, and is meant to change the flavor. So, just a little encouragement God gave me. I hope it helps you because it really changed my whole perspective. And I wasn't so, ew. I was more like, wow, how can I season this? rather than hate the way it tastes. Lord, I pray that we would operate in the identity that you have given us as your believers, as your disciples. And when we come into an unsavory situation, or we don't like the taste of something, or somebody's influencing an environment and changing it to taste badly, that Lord, we remember that we are the salt of the earth, and we just seek you for how our presence, our influence, our gifts, our wisdom, our involvement could change the flavor in it, it, to the to the way you want it to taste. Help us not be quick because we know too much salt on anything doesn't taste good and if it gets in someone's eyes it really hurts but Lord when it's the right amount connected to something unsavory we can actually be used Lord by your spirit by you saying with the salt of the earth we can change a situation and so Lord um, help us remember who we are and and operate in that rather than just evaluate what we don't like because you've given us the ability to change things and influence things in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless all you little salt shakers.